The Thud, which is out very, very bright, up to about 20 minutes before the game, has now gone behind some clouds. However, it is not as cold, thankfully, as it's been during the past couple of weeks. It's really a nice day for a football game. Okay, here we go. Frank Farrell will be kicking off to our right. And Mark McCool, West versus East. We do all number 10, a short kick. One of the short men uh, recovered by East as getting his hands on the ball was Schulbrade. However, he lost it, but it was recovered by one of the other. Uh, Fabric kicks the call, and he'll go across the 30, up to about the 31-yard line for a pickup of two. Dave Fabric. It'll be second down and eight. But Fabris over right side breaks across the 35, the 40. He's got first down yardage up to the 42-yard line. Bushinsky in the lineup for East. Handoff on Fabris, left side, 45. Midfield, he slips and cracks across into West Territory to the 46-yard line. First and 10 from the 46. We should get called near side. 45. Rushed out of bounds at about the 43 or 42 yard line. Wide receivers to him to the near side. McCoo gets the call. 45, 40, 30, 25, 20, 18 yard line. There's a fumble, but he was out of bounds. It was recovered by West, but he had gone out of bounds. Let's pick it up here on this first and 10 from the 18. Straight through on Fabric. Right over left guard. Good block to the forward end of West. Larry Liberty's calling signals. Long count now. Von Fabris, big hole over the middle, the 10, the 5, still going, he's got a touchdown. Brian Schofield will attend the placement, I think he's up, and it's good. The East with 9 13 remaining in the first three, at least West, 7 0. Alone with seven minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first period. It's 7 0 East. West forcing to punt the ball away after three downs. And here at Bazalone, Mark McCool almost broke a punt. Uh, was uh, dragged down from behind at about the 48 yard line of West. So West expecting to take a two East today. It's been the other way around thus far. Now we've got a timeout on the field at Bazalone as a good run by Dave on Fabric. The East was nullified by a 15 yard holding penalty. So we'll stand first and uh, 25 for East at its own 40 yard line, leading West 7 0 with 42 remaining in the first period. Just part of the ball away. However, they West had too many men on the field. That's right, he's got the first down. Down to about the 36-yard line. So a, a five-yard penalty, having too many men on the field, really hurting West. Good field position now for the minute men. Moving to our left, they've got the ball on the West 35-yard line, just short of the 35 by about a half a foot. East moving very easily, especially on the outside. Let's hear the second down and five play from the West 30. Same play in the cool left side. Gets to the third, 25, 20, 15 yard line. Very, very close to the 10 yard line. Liberty's the quarterback. Goes right at the middle of our fabric, and he'll get across the 10 inside to about the nine yard line. Pitch left side, McCool, a big hole, he's got it, that's down. Taking the pitch and cutting it over left tackle. They're going to try for the extra point from placement. That's a fake, Liberty, all by himself in the far corner of the end zone, he overthrew McCool. Nobody was close to Mark McCool. Liberty took the snap, it was a fake kick, he stood up, rolled to his right, had plenty of time, and simply overthrew McCool. Minute 55 remaining in the first period, 13 to nothing, East over West.
rounding east over west. However, west driving, and they've got the ball just about inside the 30-yard line of east. Time Big play coming up for West. Dale here, 13-0. And K.O. Straight drop back, hard rush. Clear pass to Salazzo on the far side. He's going to get caught back at the 34-yard line. And making the play over there, Mark McCoo scored the second touchdown for East. The minute men will take over on down, first to 10 from the 34-yard line, their own 34. The second down coming up at about a four or four yards to go from their own 41-yard line. Let's keep it for this one play if we can. Liberty pitching near side. McCoo, he's got a hole. He's going to drag from behind, though, after he picks up about four yards, the 45-yard line. Left tackle taking the ball from the 44 yard line of West. Dallas inside the pick over to Elvis. McCoo to 15 yard line. He's got the first down. He's down to about or very close to the first down. He Third and two for East from the 15. A quick pick that's going to be fumbled. Recovered, however, I believe by East or West. Let's see who's got the ball. West recovered back on the 19 yard line. Over here, John Basil, in the 10th meeting, excuse me, John Basil Owens field. He's leading West 13 to nothing. We've got about 720 remaining. And the first half of West We just had West uh, Clark Hudak putting the ball away. However, East tried to block the kick. They were coming all the way, and they knocked him down. And it'll be a first and 10 for the Falcons of West. And that'll move the ball up to about the 34-yard line, I believe. West getting a first and 10 from his own 37-yard line. Not the 34, the 37-yard line. Moving to our left, trailing East here, 13 to nothing, with seven minutes remaining in the first half. Yeah. Hard rush, and Cale driving back, throwing in the middle, intercepted by Kaufman. At the 45, the 43-yard line, Ed Kaufman picks off a third down pass. Larry Liberty has had receivers open twice now, once with an attempted two-point conversion at that time, first and 10 at his own at the 41-yard line. Uh, Fabris getting the ball, getting across the 35, down to about the 32-yard line. Big kick up on that second down and 10 call. He'll pick up about seven. It'll be third. And McCoo planning over left tackle, picking up the necessary yards for the first down. Third down, call now, third down and about three from the 23. Pitch right side, Von Fabris, 20, 15 yard line, inside the 15, out at the 13 yard line. There's a snap, a good one, the kick is up, it's high enough, no good, just missing off to the right, very, very close, so West will take over, first and 10 from the zone 20, having held each one again.
an, we just had an interception, Kenny Fulton taking a poorly thrown Larry Liberty pass, and with that interception, we have come to the end of the first half, East leading West by a score 13 to nothing, Matt. Comes to the near side of Reckier's 15 yard line, 20, 25, 30 yard line, to about the 33 yard line. Once again, Crocker and Boyer split out to the far side. The Crocker spotted inside Boyer. Second out at seven. Play action pass from the far outside for Crocker, the 40, the 43 yard line. And they're going to whistle the play dead. East getting off the mark a little bit too soon, and that should give West the first down. Drop the kick, Kale. Hard rush being chased out of the pocket. Gets back to the 35 to 30 yard line. He throws it upfield, and it's incomplete. Second and 10 for West from their own 47 yard line. Moving to our left. Come back and go to Palazzo. He'll get close to midfield. No more than that. Okay, two wide receivers out to the far side on this third and long yardage. Play action, straight drop back. At the time, and K over to the right side, completes the clock to the 43 yard line. Well, that's nice, and K on the first down play being charged. Going to get thrown for a loss by Bonner. Vince Bonner coming through and trapping and K.O. back for our side. Play action. And K.O. being rushed by Bonner. Bonner cannot get to him. A pass almost picked off by Ron Shakura. Oh, about his own 42 yard line. Mark Kuhl will drop back in single safety to our left at the 15. So the bank, it's a bank. Back to Rizzotti, the 45, 40, 35 yard line. And he is short, short by about five or six yards of the first down. leading West on a second down play. Mark McCoo bobbled the pitch out but recovered it, but it's still third down and long yardage now for East. They're deep in their own territory. <laughs> Away, Dave Yaroszewski getting it off the side of his foot. West with good field position on their own 45 yard line. Still trailing, however, 13 to nothing, 745 remaining in the third period. from Dave and K.O. upfield inside East Territory. However, there's a flag on the play. The pass was completed. K.O. getting up the middle. And Rizzardi getting a call. Gets good yardage inside the 35-yard line. Close to the 30. And K.O. straight drop back. Has some time. Looking to his left. A throwing in the middle. into a crowd intercepted by Shakura at the 15. He's to the 20. Cutting to the near side. And finally dragged from behind by, by Jim Karasak. An interception by Ron Shakura. East will... for illegal procedure, so instead of a third down and three, it's first and ten for East from its own 41-yard line. But that's the first down play if we can. On Fabris, rule over the left side, gets good yardage across the 45. Heading to our left. Left side, it goes to Von Fabris, who's dropped from behind. That was a fine tackle over there. Back, we just had a running the option to the far side. Larry Livernese attempted to pitch it back to Mark McCool. It was well behind him, and it was picked up by Joe Salazzo of West. So West will take over inside East Territory at the Minuteman 41-yard line. Still trailing here, 13 to nothing. And Kale faking, throwing Lewis out the only stuck clock over at the 10, the 5 touchdown. Have the extra point from placement. Fake. And Kale throwing. He's got his man and it is complete when it is a flag. The pass was complete to a recchio, but we've got a flag. Let's see who the penalties again. East had too many men on the field, so the two-point conversion will stand and
had a fumble. He's fumbling the ball. West recovering it in excellent field position on the East 37 yard line. With a minute and four seconds remaining in the third period, West trails just by five, 13 to eight. We're inside 30 seconds in the third period. Palazzo, same play, right tackle. He's going absolutely no play. Play action, hard rush. And KO at the screen, complete to Salazzo. He gets to the 30 to the 27 yard line. He's going to wind up short by about two yards. And that will be the end of the third quarter. Salazzo, he's got to get the. No, take a keeper by KO. The 20, the 15, and finally forced out of bounds at the 12 yard line by Bonner. A beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. The KO pitch for West Side. Salazzo is bobbled. He picks it up on a bounce and gets thrown out of bounds about the 20 yard line by, by Joe Stocco. Second down play. It goes Palazzo right side. He'll get back to the 16 yard line. No more. Yes. Wide receivers to both sides. High formation in the back heel and KO play action over the middle. Stuck to the 10. The five touchdown. And KO at the point, going to throw the ball up in the air, intended for a Recchio right through his arms in the end zone, incomplete. Taken by Schubert at the 27 to the middle of the field. They'll get across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Well, the East will take over about 67 yards away from a touchdown. Of course, uh, a field goal will also give them the lead at this point. Keeper Livernees. <laughs> Thanks to McCoo, he ran, continued running with the football and got drained to 13. Second down at 10. Liberty, end around, it's a pass. Downfield all by himself, Shakur at the 40-yard line. Run around at the 37, 36-yard line. Finally thrown down by Salazzo. Here goes McCoo. He gets good yardage down to the West 31-yard line. So a trick play has set up the middle of East. A very good position. And on Fabris over left tackle gets inside the 30 to about the 20. Wide receivers both side. Pitch left side for two. He's got the first down. He's inside the 25 down to about the 23 yard line. Being two hour left. Trailing 14-13. Same play McCo trying to sweep the left side. This time it's going to be trapped back there by Jeff Schiller. Inside on the left side. Actually three wide receivers. Fumble picked up in the air by, by West I believe. Yes. Fumble recovery by West on the handoff. The man never got the ball. down and 10 for West on the road 27. Pitch left side goes to Salazzo. Trying to turn the corner. He's not going to do it. Joe Stocko was over there to knock him down. Play. Wide receivers to both sides. Straight drop back in KO. Looking to throw. Downfield intended and a complete yes. To our right, going to his left in KO, going down, and in interference, yes, there's the call. We've got a first down and hit from the 45, Salazzo getting a handoff, left side goes nowhere. KO on a second down, fall in fighting territory, will take the ball from the line of scrimmage at the 45, up to around the 43 yard line. So West has not been able to move the ball on the ground, but through the air in KO, as the KO play action being chased, going over the middle, incomplete, intended for Crockett at his 33 yard line. Rudak running, getting away. A free boy punt, bouncing, taking an east bounce. It bounced at the 25, bounced back, and let's see where it bounced out of bounds. They'll say, I believe, at about the 27 yard line. They just have to. Firmino pitch near side. Comes to McCoo. 30, 35, 40-yard line. Very, very close to the 45-yard line. On 45-yard line. Moving to our left. Picks to McCoo. He fumbles and it shoots. And who's got the football? Silly. McCoo got his own for a fumble. Firmino putting a five. Finally going to get chased by Defina, who misses him. Goes to his right, keeping it. The 45. The 46-yard line, still free at midfield, gets to about the 49-yard line. Joe Tormino almost dropped for about a 10-yard loss. The crew gets the ball on third down, and he's going to get dragged down in the backfield by Joe Gwine. We have a touchdown. Tormino straight drop back. It's a flip. He trips. He trips. The Beatle is chasing him. Jen Schiller was chasing him. 
their own 10 yard line. And West Africa first to 10 from the East 40. A handoff goes to Luzardi, but they're going to whistle the play dead. It won't count. Luzardi gets back to the line of scrimmage over the left side, maybe gets a yard more than that before he's thrown back by, among others, Ben Bonner. We're second down at about 14. The care the quarterback on the option is going to keep the football, going to get thrown for a loss of a yard, maybe two, back to the 46 yard line. He wisely ate the football. Two minutes remaining in this game. Third down, and about 16 to go. West with the lead, 14 to 13 with the football, and it's East 47. And KO trying to eat up some time, running wide. He's gonna get thrown for another loss. Here they come. It's, I think they might have got a hand on it, but it's still a pretty good kick at the 15 yard line, it's Maku. And he's gonna get mothered back on about the 10 yard line, the 12 yard line, to Ted from its own 15 yard line. And around, there goes the Hawkins again. Hawkins throwing downfield. to course, the man is headed. It's intercepted by Boyer at the 35-yard line, the 30, the 27-yard line. That should just about do it. How about that? Holy. Bridgewater East finally picking up his first victory in 10 tries against Bridgewater East. The final here, Bridgewater Rags West 14, and a very shocked Bridgewater team and crowd 13. All right, the final scores are all around right now. Bridgewater West 14, Bridgewater East 13, Somerville 42, Bound 6. We'll be back to talk some more about it, but we've got uh, a couple of messages to get in.